So picture this, you're, you're up late on your computer and you know, you're checking your social media, you're doing whatever it is you do. It's a regular reminder here on this show that I'm not here to point fingers at anybody. Yeah, I don't care if you delete your history too much or don't do it at all. If you want your storage to be full, that's on you. Anyway, you, uh, you find a good stopping place because you know you're exhausted. It's been a long day. And here's, here's the thing, like, even though we know it's not right to make assumptions, we all have this assumption that, hey, you know, the internet's going to be here in the morning. I'm just going to call it a night. And what, it, what happens? You get up for the day, and to your discretion, you're advised that the internet was shut off. Uh, because, I don't know, somebody didn't budget correctly and the internet wasn't paid on time. Oh, wait. It was the first. I thought it was the thirtieth, man. I'm I'm sorry. I sh uh, well, you know what to do. Yes, you should know what to do. Just call the internet provider. But hello, it's an automated service. Okay, yeah, one of those annoying things where you don't get a real person. You know, it's especially a hassle if you have an iPhone. You know, you got to put it on speaker. Uh, open up the keypad for English. Press one for. Espanol, numero dos, yeah, you get the idea. Comprende? I mean, these things are about the equivalent of going to your doctor's appointment on time at the time they told you to. And there's still people ahead of you. And you'll be acknowledged in the order it was received. I just know you're waiting for the show to start. Uh, please hold a moment, and I'll be right with you. Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm your host, Rob Rodriguez. Now, I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, it was definitely worth the holiday wait. Now, I I'm going to say this lightly, but um, I really shouldn't bring up that it's Black Friday. Uh, just for courtesy purposes, you know, in case the episode comes out on Saturday like last year. I mean, we can never be too careful. But if it's 7.30, 10 o'clock tonight, Friday, I'd say, hope you were safe this Black Friday. If it's Saturday, hope you're having a great weekend. If it's Sunday, that's how we know I failed miserably. And the episode should have been brought over to next week, December 1st. And I could have taken that week off and nobody would have noticed. They would have just seen that I was gone this week, and then, hey, you vanished again. That's like t two weeks in a row. That's, that's bi-weekly, if you think about it. So Demi Lovato couldn't have said it better herself. What's wrong with being confident? You know, she's got a point. There's nothing wrong with being positive about your opinions on something. I mean, in fact, there's people who are so confident, they can somehow make 9 plus 10 equal 21. But you didn't hear from me. Oh, wait a minute. Check this out. The, the equation was just incomplete. So you just add 2, and it's 21. Oh, the things I did for attention back then. Somehow they're a lot better than the methods I use now. But um, maybe it was all the downtime. I don't know. Didn't we learn anything from being unemployed for four months? Now I think back to when I was in school, okay? There were students who would raise their hands waiting to be called on. Now, some, some might call that respectful. Others might loosely use terms like, I don't know, teacher's pet or, hey, look at that kid over there. Yeah, he quiet. He's quiet. Yeah, what, what's he doing with that book over there? Oh, I've heard of that. I think they call that redding. Yeah. You bookworm. So yeah, there were, there were students who would call out. Sure, every school had one. Unless they were a really strict D school or something. Now, 
Wait, hold on. Can we call calling out students? Like, can we can we call that confidence, or is that just borderline rude? You know what? Actually, maybe I'm misremembering this. Maybe we were all saints. Yeah. No. Nope. That's just false hope. So every job, including my own. Yeah, I've learned my lesson since quitting my day job uh, the first time. Every time someone watches this show and says, yeah, you know what, Rob, don't, don't quit your day job. Yeah, it's, it's not working. Every time someone says something like that, I can always put them in their place and say, how can you say that? You know I work nights. And then it's all down in dust from there. Well, yeah, so where was I? Every job has an opportunity to grow with the company. You know, there's cashiers that became store managers. There's janitors that became CEOs of a company. Think about that. That's hard work and a lot of achievement and maybe a college degree somewhere along the road. Now, that includes people on YouTube starting out. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you for a second. Even if you end up like me, hosting a web series for three years, no one's really seen it, and you're pushing 20 years old. Yeah, everyone's got to start from somewhere. Like, even if you're in the same position for years, at least you can say you have your foot in the door, and things are to come, eventually. Now that I'm thinking about it, I really got to step up my game here. Well, we have a lot of show to fill, so that being said, I'm gonna need a minute. So I picked up on this pretty quickly. I mean, it's, it's basic third grade stuff, you know. Back in uh, elementary school, in the cafeteria, there used to be a system. It was called sharing secrets and passing it on to the table. Yeah, it, it was our way of text messaging back then, before there was an iPhone. Yeah, the only downside about it was what if what was being passed on was about you and the kid next to you didn't even know who you were and just said this big secret about you. And, you know, it's not his fault, but the rest of the table now knows that you forgot to adjust your fly after PE. So, yeah, spreading rumors and gossip is, sure, amusing. Like, it's a good time. It's like watching the IMAX and the standard showing of... A mediocre film that only has okay reviews. But here's the thing, we don't know if it's true or not. I mean, it's just something we think unless told otherwise. It's, it's like we're convinced unless proven guilty of it being true. Like, you know how the tabloids and magazines, they take pictures of celebrities, and then they just write a whole piece just based on the picture that they took. Like, Tom Cruise probably wasn't abducted by aliens, like he could have just been at Starbucks for all we know. Notice that it will tell you to look inside for more details, or what page the story's on. Yeah, even on paper clip clickbait exists, only in this case it's considered flipbait. It's time for that weekly list known as the possibility list. It's kind of like when you go to the movies on a Monday night to avoid what you'd expect from a weekend crowd. Alright, this week's list is titled Seven Inventions That Don't Exist But Somebody Could Use One Alright, at number seven A razor that also combs hair Number six A bike that doubles as a minivan Number five A significant other that doesn't check your emails no, I'm, I'm sure they're out there, just, uh, we needed seven and six didn't really, six is a very common number for lists, so, yeah. Number four, a DVR that saves years of recordings. Number three, a newer iPhone that charges your phone while you have earbuds in. Number two, chocolate that doesn't melt in the car. And number one, seven inventions that don't exist but somebody could use one. Glasses that correct your vision so you can see without them. 
All right, and that is the possibility list for you this week. Well, that is the show for you this week. You know how to follow me on social media. Be sure to check out the second channel, because there is stuff coming to that channel now. And uh, I'll see you next week. Okay.